so we're gonna get our shit back together. Literally ended up in the emergency room. Really want to make Courtney's Kardashian avocado smoothie recipe. I'm like shocked right now. Hey guys, what is up? So it is currently 10.30 a.m. and I'm just going to go get my COVID test done because I'm working on set tomorrow and Thursday. So we need to like get COVID tested the day before. So I'm going to go get the test. Joel is just currently chauffeuring me. I was waiting for my period to come because it was so late and I was like, please come before I have to go work because usually I just have the luxury of working completely from home so I never need to worry about that but now that I'm actually going out I'm like there's no way I can be out on the first day of my period like there's no way those things can both happen at once so thank god it came today so now I'm just gonna have to suffer the consequences today but yeah thankfully it's not coming tomorrow like i'm just so happy that it came today even though it's going to be a painful day i know it's way better that it came today than tomorrow or the next day so i'm just so happy about that but yeah so i'm just going to go get tested and then i just need to like catch up on a lot of work today because since i'm not going to be home wednesday thursday i don't know how much work i'm going to be able to get done on set so i need to do as much editing and filming as i can today to like get ahead Okay, so I just got COVID tested. The test literally took five minutes. The last production set that I was on, I was literally there for like 40 minutes to an hour because I had to wait in so many lines, but this one was so efficient. Like I literally went, signed in, got the test right away and then left. And that was literally it. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, So that was great. So we're currently at the gas station. Joel's filling up for me. I'm starting to feel the cramps. The cramps are coming on, unfortunately. So today's definitely gonna be an in-bed type of work day not a necessarily running around type of work day when i get home i'm gonna eat some toast or something get a heating pack on my stomach and i'm gonna film my q a today because yesterday i put on my story to ask me some questions and i accidentally freaking deleted the instagram story i took a screenshot of like the questions and i hope i got them all yeah i just can't wait to get home and lay in bed hey guys so it is the next day from when you last saw me and when i said that i was in for a painful day i really just did and expect how painful the day would be i literally ended up in the emergency room because i have never felt the amount of pain that i was feeling like i was vomiting i was literally so close to passing out and it was like the most horrible day experience of my whole entire life because my cramps were that bad like i literally felt like i was dying like i've never been in that much pain in my whole entire life and i'm like I can't bear this anymore like it was getting to a point where I was like I can't I can't do this anymore like I need medication because the only thing that I had to take was like Tylenol and Advil and that just like was not helping so I was like I need to go get stronger medication like I can't do this so I went to the emergency room I was waiting there for a long ass time and then the doctor prescribed me these painkillers yeah now we're here <laughs> And I'm obviously a lot better today, so I'm fine. But I just did not expect that day to end up the way that it ended up. Always have to expect the unexpected. But yeah, anyways, we're better now. Thank God. I'm still obviously not feeling 100% at all but i am feeling like better like i can function today but yeah i was supposed to have like my casting call today but they changed it to just tomorrow so i'm so happy they did that because the way that the day ended up being yesterday like, like i needed today to catch up on my work and i just still am feeling very shitty so i'm so glad that i got called off today i did get covid tested in the morning because i had to go again but other than that i've just been like catching up on work and stuff but yeah so that was basically yesterday and um let's just say i'm so freaking happy that i'm feeling normal or now like sometimes you don't realize and you take for granted your health and you don't realize how lucky you are to be feeling healthy and normal and then when you get into a state of pain or something is wrong with you and you're feeling pain you really realize like wow i, I can't take feeling normal for granted anymore because it's such a blessing to be healthy and feeling normal yeah that's the lesson that i learned okay so i've come to the realization that i haven't been eating that great i haven't been feeling that great i've just been kind of mentally foggy i think it's the right word to describe it this past week and obviously i just haven't been feeling the best as well and as i said like i'm also behind with my work and i just 
think that I need to reset. And I think I need to get back on my grinds just because this past like couple of weeks just have felt so freaking off. And I just realized why. Like it's just because I've kind of been off my grind, haven't been eating the best and haven't been going to the gym as much as I would like to. And I just feel like I need to get back on it and that'll make me feel so much better. So we're gonna get our shit back together. We're going to start eating healthier. That starts now, baby. I need to start doing my meditations more often because I haven't been doing those. I've been very slacking in that department and like I mentioned in my other video my last vlog or one of my last videos um, Once you start a routine it gets so hard to get going and start it like that can, that's the hardest part And then breaking that is so easy like just getting out of the routine is so easy and You may not even realize it But I just came to the realization that I'm just out of alignment and out of my routine And I need to get back on it and it's totally totally normal to be out of it like that Like it's totally normal to get out out of line and to slack a little bit so like i'm not getting mad at myself whatsoever just because like i know like it's normal it's fine it's also the summer so i've been slacking like that's one of the reasons why and i just had an epiphany that i just need to get back onto my routine and i think i'll feel way better so tomorrow we're waking up and we're gonna crush the day tomorrow we're going to go for a morning walk we're going to do our morning meditation we're gonna do all the things that make me feel the best tomorrow it starts now we're gonna eat a healthy dinner i'm gonna stop eating like shit let's get our shit back together ladies and gentlemen we can do it if you are feeling like you're in a rut as well do this with me get your shit back together because it'll feel it'll feel good i'm excited but yeah like i was saying it's very important to not beat yourself up about it um because it's so normal to go through like periods of time and waves where um you fall out of alignment or you just don't feel that good the most important part is to pick yourself back up and get back on track because if i just continued my ways like this for longer and longer then i would just go down deeper and deeper and deeper and it would be even harder to pick myself back up once i reach the bottom of the hole once i reach rock bottom so i'm not gonna let myself reach rock bottom and i'm gonna pick myself back up now while i still easily can get my shit back together we got this also i don't know if you guys noticed but we just got some new couches in finally this is like them the blankets are like making them a mess right now but yeah these are our cute new couches the old ones are outside currently so yeah so me and joel just made a healthy dinner i'll show you guys what we made we got a nice salad going on here and then i put some tofu in the air fryer little cubes and i hope these are good they smell so good so high hopes Good morning guys it is currently around eight o'clock and this is the day we're getting our shit back together today i'm gonna do the things that make me feel the best and get back into my routine that i've been out of for a little bit so yeah i'm feeling great this morning woke up feeling amazing okay so this is a journal that i use it's the five minute journal and i've been slacking on even doing this you guys like when i say i was i'm out of my routine like i've been out of my routine so we gotta get back into this this is like one of the most like important things honestly in my morning that like make me be grateful and just like happy to start the day so this is very important so every day it has like a quote above so i'll just read you guys the quotes today what we do every day matters more than what we do once in a while so yeah that's very true i feel like that has a lot to do with routines and doing what you love every day and being happy every day that actually goes great with the theme of this right now yeah that just goes to show that like what you're doing every day you're doing every day like a hundred percent of the time so that obviously matters more than what you do once in a while because you can say oh i'm gonna do this that makes me happy but only do it once in a while but that's not going to be as beneficial as you doing it every day so yeah so i'm just going to write in this and then we'll do some stretching and meditation <music> So one of the things that I wrote down that I was grateful for is being so healthy and I feel like a lot of the time we take advantage of our health until it's ripped away from us as I was saying previously in the video and I just need to be more careful with what I'm consuming every day and what I'm putting in my body because that 100% reflects outwards and I've seen it reflect outwards. Um, obviously everything in moderation, it's okay to treat yourself like that is so okay but overall it's good to have like a healthy balanced diet just to you know make you feel good and 
and make your body function properly and getting all your nutrients in that you need to feel good during the day. Yeah, it's definitely important to take care of your body, especially when you're young because a lot of people make the excuse like, oh, I'm young, I'll take care of my body when I'm older. But if you don't take care of your body when you're young, you're not gonna take care of it when you're older because if you don't care when you're young, you're not gonna care when you're older. So I need to start making more conscious steps and fueling my body every day with more healthy foods like i'm not saying i eat horrible like i don't but i've just been like indulging a little too much lately and just not making the best choices a part of getting me back on my routine i'm gonna start making those right choices again and treating my body better and obviously there's not going to be one specific diet that you have to follow and that somebody else has to follow you guys just have to find what works for your body best and what kind of foods makes you feel the best at the end of the day so if for everyone that's going to be totally different okay so you have to write like an affirmation in here so i'm just gonna sometimes i like to search them up and pick one that i like that day so the one that i'm gonna write is my possibilities are endless i really like that one because you're the only person who can decide if you can do something or not like you're the only one that can block yourself mentally and your true possibilities are endless but in order for you to really live that out and have your possibilities be endless you have to destroy the mental block that is telling you that your possibilities are not limitless because they are you can do anything you want to okay i can't wait to get back in writing in this i haven't written in it for like a few days so i'm so excited because this is like definitely part of my routine and something i love so yeah so i'm just gonna do a bit of stretching right now i'm gonna get my headphones out So that was freaking great. I feel rejuvenated right now. I'm gonna go on my walk right now. Honestly, I think that when I get back home, I'm gonna go grocery shopping for a good breakfast smoothie. You wanna go to walk, baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wanna go to walk? Okay hey guys, so I just got to the grocery store. I'm gonna do a quick grocery shop. I really wanna make Courtney's Kardashian avocado smoothie recipe. It looks so freaking good. So I've been wanting to make it for a while now. Um, I'll link the recipe down below. So if you guys wanna have it as well. Actually, I'll just give you guys a grocery haul when I get home. Um, but basically I wanna make shrimp tacos for dinner. So I wanna get stuff for that. And then I just wanna get like basic healthy shit that is gonna motivate me to eat healthy. So that's the little plan for right now. Let's get shopping. So I just got back from the grocery store and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul quickly. So two cases of spinach. Got some cold brew. This one's pretty good. And then I got the vanilla oat creamer. I got dairy-free cheese. This is the best brand ever. I got the vegan creamer for cooking, but I like to use this literally for everything that like needs cream. I got this new silk oat milk vanilla plain yogurt oh wait no it's not vanilla it's just plain so this is gonna be interesting i want to put that in like smoothies and stuff so and then i got coleslaw for the shrimp tacos shrimp for the shrimp tacos and then tortillas for the shrimp tacos and then just this whole grain flax and quinoa bread and avocados and that's it then i got greek yogurt which isn't for me but um somebody wanted it so yeah that's my little grocery haul. I'm so excited to make shrimp tacos for dinner. They're going to be so good. I got to put all this shit away. Okay, guys, welcome to the Kardashian cooking center. Just kidding. Um, we're just going to make Courtney's, like I was saying, avocado smoothie. I'm so excited to try this. It honestly looks just so elite. In one of her videos, she was eating it like with a spoon. So like with pudding, like as pudding kind of. 
So I might be eating this with a spoon. Hold on, I'm just gonna double check. So it just takes like one avocado. And this avocado is literally perfectly ripe. It's not like one of the ones I bought today. It's just we had it in the fridge already. One cup of plant-based milk. So I'm gonna use this oat milk that my mom gets from Costco. One scoop of vanilla protein powder. So I don't have vanilla protein powder, but I have vanilla chai. So I feel like this might even give it like an extra goodness taste, if you know what I mean. So I feel like this is gonna be even better. And this is also like a vegan, a vegan protein powder. This one's actually really freaking good. And then two teaspoons of honey or dates. So I think instead of that, I'm just gonna put maple syrup because obviously it's just um, adding a sweetener. So yeah, I'm just gonna put maple syrup. It also says to add one stick of brain on and a quarter teaspoon of MCT oil. So I don't have either of those things. So I'm just going to make it like this. It's probably fine. Oh, she's freaking creamy. Look at that shit. That is so creamy. I'm just going to make sure that there's no chunks. I mean, it looks pretty darn good. It definitely looks more like pudding than anything. Let's taste it. Moment of truth. Wow, wow, that is good. I mean, it's definitely not a smoothie. Like, I would definitely want to eat this like a pudding. I'm literally obsessed. Holy shit, this is good. I'm like shocked right now. This is so good. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it over to like a little cute container. Okay, so I'm gonna be extra and put it in a wine glass because when she was eating it, presentation was exquisite. So that's what we're gonna do. This is literally so good, you guys. Like, you have to try this. Literally, look at how cute this is. I'm definitely eating this as a pudding because the consistency is so pudding-like. Like, it's perfect. This is gonna be my new go-to avocado pudding. That is so good. Take a cute picture of it. Okay, guys, it is a little later. I have a heat heating pack in my stomach because I was just out for a bit, if you know what I mean. Feeling better now and I made myself some lunch. So I made myself some spinach and basically what I did is I just boiled it. I have the TikTok, which I got the recipe from. I'll link it down below. And it's basically you just boil spinach for 30 seconds and then you add like a special sauce on it and it literally took me five minutes to make. And this shit slaps. This is such a good way to eat spinach. This is so good.